Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we are going to do, it's Cracktober, so we are going to do a video um, in the Crackpot. All month long, I'm sure you'll find all over YouTube a whole bunch of Crackpot ideas that are amazing. I'm surprised I haven't got to find more, i am just been a little busy. Um, so check out, we are doing a collab, an open collab, so down below will be the playlist of a whole bunch of great collaborators that is, are going to be giving you a lot of different videos, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, some desserts in there that go in the crock pot. That will be amazing. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, check it out. Now, my video, I'm going to wing it, you guys. And you know I wing it a lot of times when I'm cooking. But I'm at the camper, which you can tell. It's not my home. But we have maybe three weeks left, three weekends left until we close up shop here um, and put it away. So I'm trying to use things that are in my fridge or my freezer so I can use them up so I don't have to put them somewhere else or whatever. That was biscuits if you're one Shh. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, so I'm going to go through my freezer, go through my fridge, see what I got that I want to kind of use up. Maybe I'll use a little bit of pantry stuff. And we'll see what we can come up with. I have no idea at this point. I have no idea. I kind of got an idea, but I don't have a full idea. So we'll see what we got going on. Okay, let's do this. Cheers. Okay, so we came up with, um, I have some leftover buns that are getting a little hard in the fridge. So I got those out. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but I do have some of those. I need to use up this little tiny milk. I have a little bit of jam left there. I do have some sausage three apples. I do have syrup in the fridge and I had three eggs left. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so I'm going to put these three in here. Some of the milk. Sweetener, a little bit of vanilla, okay, and then I am not going to peel these, but I'm just going to cut up the apples, it's almost like an apple um, bread pudding. I am cooking the sausage slightly. That's got a bad spot, so I'll just cut it out. up whatever leftovers I have. I'm trying to clear up the camper because we only got it for a few more weekends. I'm just going to dice them small like this. In the meantime, over here, I'm cooking up the sauce. I just cut up a little bit too much. Little pieces so it cooks faster and more bite size. I could have even opened all the lids and just pulled this out for ground sausage, but I didn't do that. Okay, so we are going to just tear up so it's in bite sized pieces. This way, you never waste, and these are low carb bread buns. Um, this is one hot dog one. 
And they usually do it when I just got singles left or they start to get hard. I just keep them in the fridge at all times anyway so that it prolongs the life of them because you know they're pricey. They're not the uh, dollar ones. Any or dollar normal bread ones and you know, they cost about four or five dollars. So it's a hamburger bun left over. Carp Smart. You can obviously do this with regular buns. Oops. And the drier the better. This one's like really kind of stiff. I do like doing this towards the end of the season. I think I did something similar last year with just jam, I think, in it, but I got apples from when we went apple picking and brought them here. We didn't eat them yet. So, now obviously we have a couple more weekends, so I'll need to get more eggs and stuff like that, but that's fine. Clean out the fridge. do all of these because they're kind of smushed and drying out. Um, this is a small crock pot obviously because it's just for our camper so you can do it in probably a good five quart. I think this is a three quart. Four quart maybe that would be better for this. Especially if you do more bread. I'm going to try and stuff this in here. Okay. Now. That one better play. Put the apples in. Not the one with the seed. perfect for this size crock pot. I'm going to throw the sausage in. Oops, missed an apple. jam. You want to toss it because you want everything to get wet in here. Get it distributed. It's probably not the best video I've done for you, but we'll see how this turns out, right? It's a little dark in here. Alright, I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to put it on low for about two and a half hours. Look how amazing that looks. Yum. Okay, so it's finished. Let's see how this goes. It looks really yummy. I did put a little syrup on top. Like I said, I used what I had. So, if it were, like I was probably doing this from home, let me leave a comment down below. Do you like big forks or little forks? I usually like little forks, but they're all dirty right now, so I had to get a big fork, and they just don't fit my hand, and I can't stand them. Um, big fork, little fork. Leave a comment down below. Mm. 
don't know if I got any apple in there. I got apple taste. Maybe I got blackberry taste. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Here's biscuits, if you're wondering how he is. Do you mind? <laughs> I don't. He thinks he's a kid. It's not for you. You don't want this. Although he did eat a potato chip the other day. <laughs> don't even. He's feisty. And stay tuned. We will be doing a video purely on biscuits. Um, but that probably won't come out for another month or so. So we'll let you know how that goes. This is good. I'm excited. He's distracting me. Sorry. So I got to use up three apples, a whole bunch of leftover hard um, buns that were in the fridge. Um, the rest of my blackberry jam that I made. What else did I put in there? Some syrup. I still have a little bit more syrup left, but it's not like I can't take it home. But at the same time, my husband still has to try to cross my legs. Hold on. Uh, my husband still has to eat, but a really good. You could even do like the little um, confection sugar or sweetener mixed with heavy cream and pour that drizzle over top. That'd be really good. So it's like an apple bread pudding, kind of. A fruit bread pudding. Let's call it that. Fruit bread pudding. Because I used blackberry jam in it and it had the apples. They're non peel. Stop it! I was going to yell at him, zipper, but it's biscuits. Hold on. Oh, oh it's going to be done now. Dad's taking a shower, so we shut the door in between the camper and he's mad. He wants in there. Come here. I'll show you real quick, then we'll end this video. What are you doing? See that door? That's where he wants in. He wants to push it open. What are you doing? Behave. Little tank. Where are you going now? He wants outside, but I don't want to let him out because it just got done raining, so it's all icky out there. Okay, so this was very good, and it's just proof. Use what you have. During these times, we need to use everything we have in our fridge. Don't let it go to waste if you can help it. We are human. Things do happen. Things happen every day. It does happen. But Croctober is amazing. So if you want to um, check out the playlist down below that is put on by Mo Molly Purcell and I'm merely Melissa, uh, thank you for hosting that, ladies. And there will be so many videos up for different Crock-Pots, whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, everything in there. You're going to sit there with your hot cocoa, your coffee, your hot toddy. I'm not judging. I'd be with a hot toddy, not gonna lie. And uh, watch the whole playlist. And then that gives you ideas for what you can do for the month. And think outside the box. Sometimes you gotta, you know, use something different. If you don't have chicken breasts, use chicken tenders or chicken thighs or whatever. Don't stress about it. It's food, it fills your belly, and it's warm and yummy in a crock pot and mm, so good. So, obviously, you could use, like in mine, you could just use old bread. You don't have to use old buns and hot dog buns and stuff like that use old bread that's a little stale um use a clearance bread that you got at i'm getting a little hot <laughs> um you know off the clearance shelf at a, a grocery store whatever so check out the playlist down below thank you for our hosts and enjoy all the videos you're gonna love them all give this video a thumbs up let me know big fork or little fork who's on little fork team who um and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And hey, hit subscribe because I'm trying to get to 2,000 uh, subscribers by my birthday, which is 1111. And so we got a month to get there, and I hope I can do it. So with you, I think I can. So please do that for me. I appreciate it. And I think that's it. So yeah, cheers.